30 days. I want you to imagine that you have 30 days until you lose everything. Your house, your cars, your family, everything. That wasn't supposed to be me, but it was. I'm gonna tell you how I got there so you never have to. In my 20s, they called me the golden boy because everything I touched turned to gold. At the time, I was working in sales for a 50-year-old plastic packaging company. I got an idea for a new division. I brought it to senior management. They said yes, and we did. I grew that to 45 million in annual revenue in less than five years. I got really good at bringing new ideas to life and making them wildly successful. From there, I became the CEO of the first digital portrait studio chain in the United States. When we brought it into franchising, things really started to take off. Before long, I became known as one of the young guns of franchising. That's me, no gray hair, trying to look cool. <laughs> we were growing. Millions upon millions in revenue. Ranked one of the top 15 hot franchises by Entrepreneur Magazine by year five. I had this formula for success all figured out. I felt unstoppable. The only thing is, I wasn't. Prior to one of my upcoming board meetings, I reached out to a board member to review my plans for the upcoming quarter. Now, this wasn't anything new, is that I'd done this over a dozen times before. Now, at the board meeting, we get together. I lay out my plans for the upcoming quarter. Everyone gets excited. I go and implement, and then everyone's happy. This time was different. This time, they told me no. I didn't understand. I was truly confused. Maybe they didn't understand the plans that I laid out. This is when I was reminded that I was not an entrepreneur but a chief executive officer, implementing the direction of the board of directors. I worked for them. I wasn't blazing my own trail as I had convinced myself that I was. So a little voice inside my head right there said, Dave, it's time. It's time to start something on your own. Speak up right now and resign and give them 90 days notice. So I did. And the golden boy became a real entrepreneur. I was so excited to finally be able to live my life on my terms, to do what I want when I wanted. I was free. I was free of red tape. I was free of obligations. And oh, I was also free of revenue. I started with a sizable safety net. I was putting all the time in. The creativity was there. The focus was there. The revenue wasn't there. One month became six months. Six months became 18 months. And before you know it, I went from having everything to being hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Credit cards got canceled. The creditors started calling. And when I stopped answering their calls, my dad called to let me know they were calling him, looking for me. 
things got so bad, I had to go to my young daughter and ask her for money from her babysitting just so we could pay our mortgage. Things got so low as a parent when your daughter's asking you if you intend on paying her back. This entrepreneurship thing wasn't working for me. I had 30 days to turn things around or things were gonna take a major turn for the worst. I knew something had to happen. I just didn't know what it was. So I decided to take a day and go spend it in the woods. Just think. So I went down to the Chattahoochee, and I just sat there watching the river go by. And all of a sudden, I got a vision. I got a vision of a hero of mine growing up, a mentor, a guide, my grandfather. I called him Papa Jules. Now, even though he'd been gone for so many years, the conversations that we had were so vivid in my brain. Papa Jules was a successful salesman for most of his career until one day he wanted more. So at the ripe age of 50, he and my grandmother sold their house and their possessions and they put it all in a new business. Now, he had so much success that by year two, he was able to get the financing that he needed to accelerate his growth forever. Here's me in front of the building he was able to buy in year two. I loved hanging with Papa Jules. He was an open book. And he would answer any of the questions that I would ask. So I asked him lots of questions. I remember one day asking him, how at 50 were you able to give up the safety and security of a job and start all over? And he thought, and he paused, and he came back with one word, collaboration. He was able to leverage his skills and the relationships and the skills of others in order to make it all happen. Papa Jules told me a lot about collaboration. And I used these skills when I was in corporate America. However, when I went off on my own, I forgot all of this. I looked as if it was all on me and that all my previous successes were a solo effort. Far from the case. That day in the woods paid off big time. It reminded me of the one thing I was missing as an entrepreneur. And the one thing that I needed to do in order to turn everything around collaborate. We see signs of collaboration everywhere these days, in sports, in business, in comic books. Heck, even successful criminals collaborate. <laughs> in the movie Ocean's Eleven, collaboration means that you can't steal from a casino unless you have the right team members in place. How about superheroes? When the earth was facing impending doom, Nick Fury knew that no one superhero alone was going to be able to save the planet. So he created a team that included Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye, who together are the Avengers. Using the power of collaboration, they were able to save the Earth. My mission, to create an unbelievably successful marketing company. 
my unprecedented threat, 29 days until certain doom. I knew I needed to create my own team of superheroes. So I did, and here we are. Well, I cannot reveal all the members of my team today, I'm going to share with you a few. On my team, I'm Batman. Michael is Alfred, Batman's right hand. He takes care of all the behind the scenes operations to make sure everything is flowing smoothly. Maddie is Wonder Woman. She takes her golden lasso, takes charge, and secures thousands of followers on social media for us and our clients. Alex is Iron Man. He manages millions of paid traffic monthly for our clients, focusing in on increasing ROAS, which means return on ad spend. Lauren is Superwoman, one person handling the roles of many with great enthusiasm. Anna is the Black Widow, a highly skilled strategic assassin that can slay any task we throw her way. Jen, our project manager, is Storm. Not only can she manipulate the weather, she can manipulate our projects to make sure that they're done on time and with perfection. And together we are... Well, we don't have a cool name like the Avengers, but you get the idea. <laughs> Doomsday was averted. My team made everything to me. The only thing I lost was the feeling of being alone. I made a decision right then and there that I was going to share this entrepreneurial superpower with entrepreneurs around the world. And I started sharing the five things that you need to know in order to tap into it. Trust. In order for you to have true collaboration, you must have trust. You must trust your teams to make decisions and trust your teams to make mistakes, to make them, to own them, to share them with the rest of the team members. Once your team is comfortable with this, they're ready to accelerate things forward. Acknowledge. There is nothing quite as powerful as being able to look at your team members and being able to say, I see you. They're more likely to go the extra mile because the work they do is simply being acknowledged. Appreciation, authentic gratitude goes farther than you can measure. It's one of the things that is important to make sure that you have a dedicated, enthusiastic, and hardworking team. Purpose, your purpose becomes the compass by which you guide your life. Make decisions and attract those that are aligned with you. As a leader, it's important for you to share your purpose with your team and the passion that you have behind it. When you do this effectively, it's as if a beautiful choir is singing in harmony. Passion has the power to shape the view of the world that others may not have seen. Over the years, I've had an opportunity to mentor thousands of entrepreneurs, and I've witnessed firsthand the power of collaboration and the impact of tapping into it has on their mental well-being as well as their success. That's one of the things that motivated my team and I to create the competition. It's designed to help entrepreneurs use collaboration to accelerate their results. They start with an idea. And then, using our process, we help them assemble their team of superheroes. The goal? To have a company that is generating revenue or ready for funding in 90 days. While the competition is a competition, 
What I love about it most is that when entrepreneurs harness that power of collaboration, they're already winning. Stories of new entrepreneurs using this new superpower for ultimate success are popping up everywhere. Russell Brunson is an entrepreneur that had zero investors and zero track record of success building a software company. Yet he had a wonderful software idea. Now, at this point, he sounds like any entrepreneur that has a great idea. What separates Russell out from everyone else is how he tapped into the power of collaboration in order to create wild results. Russell found Todd, a coder. He shared the vision that he had. Todd said, I'm in. So they decided to partner and collaborate on it. Now, Todd went to work coding while Russell wrote a book and created a sales and marketing plan. His sales plan was simple. People would buy his book and then they would upsell into his software. His execution was brilliant. He sent personal video messages to his 100 dream collaborators. He invited them to participate in the launch of his software company. Now, if they chose to do so, they would get $10 for every book sold. And if people bought the software, they would get commissions for life. And the person who referred the most book sales would get his red Ferrari. He went all in on collaboration, and it paid off big time. He sold lots of books. He sold lots of software. All from those 100 personalized messages. He built his team of superheroes. Over a dozen people left what they were doing to join Russell and Todd in founding ClickFunnels, one of the fastest non-venture-backed technology companies to reach 100 million in annual sales in less than five years. I want to encourage you to create your success story. In the world of business, there is tons of competition. It's fast-paced, it's relentless, and at times, it can be pretty scary. The new entrepreneurial secret superpower is not a secret anymore. It's collaboration. So if you're thinking off, jumping off on your own, don't. Instead, find, attract, and build your superhero team. Tap into the power of collaboration so you can win the competition. Thank you.